today we are headed into the Great Valley Museum and the Science Center, the Planetarium, to watch a planetarium show and more. I'm wearing a fitting shirt for today's activity. There's the thing that makes the stars over there. Kind of looks like the spaceship from uh, <laughs> Mystery Science Theater. And here's the dome. Well, you can't really tell. That's a dome. Okay, the show is about to start. We are going to watch Ultimate Universe. Oh. So the dome of this planetarium is relative size to the size of the sun compared to the planets. So right here we have Mercury, uh, Venus, Earth, Mars, and so forth. Jupiter? Is that Jupiter? Is that the one that's Jupiter? Yeah, the big one is Jupiter. And the next one is what? Saturn. 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 Yes, because it's got a ring. So cool. So they do not include Pluto here because it is no longer a planet. Womp womp. Okay, Amy, we've come to the Great Valley Museum after the planetarium where you can see various dead birds. We have a dead bird on our front lawn. We could have just looked at that for free. It's really cool. They've got the marshes. So the difference between a mountain lion and a cougar, that's a mountain lion. There's a cougar. Six months older than me, everybody. I'm just being a turkey. Look at those bears. <laughs> it's like a, the outer ball of a planetarium instead of an inner ball. And got wildlife art exhibits, taxidermy animals, all kinds of educational displays and interactive things to do, and a cute little owl. It's five dollars for adults, four dollars for children, and it's all things having to do with the Central Valley of California animals, environments, and whatnot. And here we are, somewhere around here, in Modesto. This is a great little place. Mostly taxidermy displays, a little bit of astronomy, and uh, we had a lot of fun. Like a little star chart globe out here. I thought maybe it would move, like, you know, like one of those balls, but it doesn't. It just sits there. It doesn't move. It looks like it should. It says it should? I said it looks like it should. It looks like it should, but it doesn't move. <sighs> well, rollers for a thing like this cost about $300,000, so they probably just decided to make it a stationary model. Gotcha. Oh, it does. Oh, it's me of little faith. That's cool. Oh, Gabe just needed... We just needed Gabriel's muscles. Wow. That's cool. Star ball. Star ball. Look, it's the seat of the scientists. Sit in the seat of your favorite scientist. Go. This is actually where they used to sit when they were in college. Oh, I did really? Yeah, the professor stood here and taught. So like when Galileo Galilei was here? With, with... Einstein and Isaac Newton. They they were classmates. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Can I see brothers? You can sit in the seats yeah. of the scientists. Yeah. Stella's favorite is Marie Curie. 
What did she do? She was the medicine, right? Chemistry. Oh, Large elk here at the back of the Science Center and Great Valley Museum in which we were just in. Oh, we should look at the astronomy tower. Yeah, right inside this tower is a pendulum that should be going. We'll see if we can get in. You can tell because there's a sign on the thing that says pendulum. These pins were set up. Oh, you can kind of see the little pins down there. It's going with the gravity of the earth. They were set up May 28th at 949 AM. And what's today? Was it, is today the, today's the 28th, yeah. this morning. And Jimmy noticed something I have never seen before. I didn't even know this was here. Look, it's a dinosaur. What the heck? What? Is that, that's not a raptor, is it? That's a... No, that's a... That's uh, a thing that was in Colorado, the paleo... The yeah, thing. I can't remember the name. Maybe there's a sign somewhere. Okay, it's a Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus. Okay, that's a good scene to end our little video on. A Parasaurolophus in the shadow of the astronomy tower that has a pendulum and whatnot.